Hey, JP, Mike talked about you guys doing more live special team stuff. That That's something you and him agreed upon during the offseason that you thought was needed. How much do you see the benefits of that in today's instance where you got a little bit more work there? Well, I, th I think where we are as a team, uh, it, it was the, a necessary uh, adjustment for us to make to our fall camp schedule. You know, the first couple of years, um, you know, it was, it was really about establishing the fundamentals and techniques and, and trying to figure out who the right guys were for the units. Um, you know, going into year three, we have a lot more uh, experience, a, a little bit more of a veteran presence on our team's units. And our installation and our progression and our teaching has been a little bit at a, at a faster pace than it's been in the past. So um, Coach and I both thought it, it was the right thing to do to, to incorporate some more live uh, live element into the scrimmage sessions. Um, and I think also the addition of us having the ability to work a little bit more with the guys in the summer than we ever have in the past, um, you know, has certainly been been a, a help for us in terms of our development on special teams. Kurt? Uh, I know a number of the new guys have been kind of the guys working back there on return, but kick and punt. How much have those guys, Deuce, Trey, Mike, a really revolutionized kind of the return game for you potentially this year? Well, I mean, those those three guys were all um, you know important additions to our to our roster, um, you know, in, in what they do offensively, but then also uh, what they bring to the table um, from a special teams perspective. Um, we, you know, I want uh, I know it's what we need as a program some consistency at the returner spot. Um, those three guys are doing a really good job. In addition to some other guys that are on the roster that were on the roster uh, before, but um, you know, I've I really liked uh, what I've seen in, the, in these first nine practices um, from all three of those guys that you referenced. Chris, how did you guys do on the edge as far as like Jared's play today and what you got from Derek and other guys that worked that position for you? You know, I thought I thought uh, it was a pretty solid day in, ter in terms of how we played on the edge. Um, I did feel like we got some pass rush, especially early on. Um, I thought from an assignment standpoint, it, it was pretty clean. Uh, and we played a lot of guys, you know, we, we played uh, all nine of the guys that are in camp at defensive end, played, you know, pretty significant reps today um, with the first group. Uh, we, we repped uh, Derek, uh, Jared, Dennis Briggs, Pat Payton, and Leonard Warner all took reps at, at different times with the first group. And, and Byron Turner did it as well a couple times. So I tried to operate it like it was, it was a game from a defensive line perspective, where we did have a first group, second group, and third group. But as series went on and, and drives developed, um, you know, I was, I was pretty, I had it in my mind what I wanted the, the final rep count to be. And, uh, I felt comfortable repping a, a bunch of different guys with that first unit. I guess half the battle with Jared, you know, according to Coach Fuller, is just desire. Jared does have that desire to want to be the best. I mean, I know reps is really what's going to come down to. But what, what, what does he need to really kind of develop here for you guys to, to feel comfortable with what he can be to, to kind of fill the void left behind? And, I mean, can it be done in a preseason camp, or is it just going to come down to games in the fall? No, I, I think every single day is an opportunity for, for Jared to, to improve on the things that he needs to improve on. Um, you know, to me, uh, he has the want to, he has the, the strength, he has the quickness, he has the, the long speed, he has the toughness, he has all those things, that the, the ingredients that you want for a, uh, a defensive end. Where he really needs to just continue to develop is, um, you know, he was he's a little he's an unfinished product. Um, so from a fundamental technique, and then also from within our scheme, all those are areas that that he needs to continue to grow. But um, the way he approaches practice and and his type of work ethic. Um, as long as he stacks up day after day after day of incremental improvement, he'll he'll be where he needs to be. I'm very confident of that heading into the fall. Corey? Yeah, JP, I was going to actually try to sneak two questions in here. Number one, the kickers. Uh, how have you liked Fitzgerald and the two punters um, in practice and then obviously tonight? And then Dennis Briggs. Um, Coach Fuller and Coach Norrell, will talk, of course, Norvell has talked about him being a special guy, or he could be a special player. Why? Why do, why do they say that? And do you think he could be like a cure, uh, have a, an impact like Kieran Thomas? I'll start with the Dennis Briggs. Um, Dennis is is a, one of the is kind of has that unique skill set of size and speed and athleticism. Um, you know, so 
for us, we feel like he presents a, a problem for offenses in terms of the run game because it's like having a defensive tackle body type on the edge. Uh, but he also has the athleticism to rush the passer. Now, his skill set in terms of a pass rush is going to be a little bit more of a power rush mentality, but um, he absolutely has a has a a very good pass rushing skill set. So I think your comparison and analogy to Kier is, is on point. That's what we're looking for out of him. That was one of the reasons why we moved him out there is because we felt like he could provide that same physical nature at the defensive end spot. So I'm really excited about him as a player and uh, what he's able to bring to the table. In terms of the, the, the kickers, um, you know, I'll start first with the place kickers. I think Ryan's had a very solid camp. Um, you know, he's approached his day-to-day -day exactly how I would have expected him to. Um, he's hitting the ball fairly well. Um, and, and I've been pleased with him. You know, Aiden Shariari has taken the majority of the reps as, as the backup place kicker, and really he's had a very good camp. You know, he's, he came off an ACL uh, from, from a couple springs ago, and really this fall was the first time I feel like he's all the way back. Um, you know, and, and so I've been, I've been pleased with his development. In terms of the punters, uh, with the exception of one day uh, that wasn't his best, I feel like Alex Mastromano's had the best fall camp that he's had since he's been here. Um, he's, he's consistent with his ball striking. Um, he's really kind of added, you know, some, some elements to his game that, um, you know, I'll kind of refrain from getting into too specifically. But uh, he's really done a nice job in terms of, of uh, how he's approached this camp and his improvement. And I'm really excited about uh, Max Cimento. He uh, is, is the freshman that, that, that this is his first fall camp. Uh, he's had some really, really good days. Um, you know he's got to c continue to to become consistent, uh, but he absolutely has a has a high ceiling. So uh, I do feel good about the specialist spot. Has one. So Byron Turner's a guy who really couldn't give you guys a lot in, in practices last season. Like, how does that make whatever he's doing for you guys right now that much more impressive? And what are your kind of expectations for him? You think after a scrimmage now that you've seen him play? Well, you know, the thing about Byron is he, he plays exceptionally hard with a high motor. Um, and really, the way I kind of look at, at Byron is this is like his true freshman year um, because he didn't have that opportunity with the surgery that he had a year ago to really have that the same experience that like a, a Pat Payton had where he had that whole fall to continue to develop. Byron lost that. So, um, you know, to me, he's still – you know, going through his, his development phase as, as a freshman. And if you take it from that perspective, he's way ahead of the curve. Um, you know, and I think most of the reason that that, that, that is the case is because of just his toughness and, and uh, his attitude in, in terms of how he plays the game. Anything else for Coach? All right, we're all set. Thank you. All right, thank you guys.